I'm Dr. Kristen R. Bromley. This Guitar 101 series, which is part of my online music academy, is a beginner through intermediate level guitar course similar to the in-person ones I teach at the university. The course progresses from complete beginner through gaining capability in playing songs in various styles and covers playing chords and melodies and reading chord symbols, tablature, and standard music notation. With the Guitar 101 course, we use three of the books from my Method Book series, Chords and Harmony Books 1 and 2, Note Reading Books 1 and 2, and Tablature, which are all available for purchase through Amazon and Google Play. Links can be found in the description below or at kristenbromley.com. You are of course welcome to participate in this course with or without the books, but with the books you can play right along with me on all the songs and exercises as intended. Plus, each book comes with exclusive access to additional hours of in-depth video lessons that go with each part of that book. If you find this Guitar 101 series helpful, please like the videos and subscribe to the channel. Alright, let's get to jamming in this week's lesson. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Brumley. Welcome to my online academy. This is lesson 10 in the Guitar 101 series. So in this lesson, we're going to continue to work on the chords like we always do. We're going to especially focus in on those new chords that were introduced last time. So F and G7, A minor and D minor will especially be our focus, but we'll also be reviewing most, if not all, of the chords that we've learned before that. And we'll keep working on the same old types of strumming patterns. We're also going to continue working on reading notes on the top three strings and doing uh, some reading with the rests. And then, of course, we'll do some of the tablature. We're working on songs that have a little bit more involved rhythm, so they should get a little bit more exciting as they sound more and more like melodies that we're familiar with, the more the rhythms get a little bit more involved. So, it'll be great. We'll go ahead and start, like usual, with some warm-up on the chords, and then we're gonna jump in and work on the C, F, and G7. So, we're gonna start on pages 44 and 45, really starting on page 44. We're gonna do number eight, Danny Boy. This one has our classic down, down, up, up, down, up strumming pattern. We'll just go ahead and go for it. So, oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling from glen to glen and down the mountain side. The sound was gone, and all the roses falling. Tis you, tis you must go, and I must buy. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or oh, when the valley's hushed and white with snow. Tis I'll be there in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. Okay, we'll go over to page 45. Do number 11, so pop music progression X1. Another review here. Same strumming pattern down, down, up, up, down, up. The trick with this one is that when there's two chords per bar, we're going to switch chords on that first up strum. So we're anticipating across the syncopated rhythm. We're bringing that second chord in just a half a beat early rather than delaying its entrance to the end of three. So that C to D7, which is shown there on the page, C to D7, so we're going to catch that second up. We only do two strums on the first one. Here we go. We'll swing it. I want to ready. We got G to B7 to E minor to C D7 G E minor A7 C G repeat. Seven to E minor to C 
Okay, with that warm up, we'll flip on over to page 46, and we're going to do the Streets of Laredo C, F, and G7. So as a reminder, with F, which is such a challenging chord, can be a really challenging chord to play. My thumb is sitting behind the second fret. I'm pushing the two notes down on the top two strings. I'm pushing those down from the side, not directly straight on my finger, but just a little bit onto the side. So it's getting this kind of a motion, which pushes against that big muscle. That's where the strength comes from. But as you're first learning, it's okay if you're only getting the notes to ring on the fourth, third, and second strings, and that top one's muted. And you can just keep trying to get it until you're able to get it. And when you can get it, great, and it'll come out. But it's essential to get the other three notes. So you can play F with just those three, and you'll work on getting that top one to ring too. Okay, the streets of Laredo. We're going to go down, down, up, down, up, one, two, up, three, up, one, two, up, three, up. As, all right, here we go. As I Page 47 and do number two. Oh, my darling Clementine. Same thing. In a, and then we'll be in the down, down, up, down. Up. In a Cindy, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So this one's in 4-4 four, four time. We'll pick it up just a little bit here. I'll give us you want to see my... And we'll be right in. You want to see my Cindy. She lives way down south. She's so Okay, we'll flip on over to pages 48 and 49, and we'll do number four first, Oh Susanna. So we're going to be at the down, down, up, down, up, down, up, one, two, up, three, up, four, up. The thing we need to remember about this one is that there are three different places where the G7 is going to come in halfway into the bar. So we'll be playing C before that. So you're going to have the C, G7. But the C won't be written because it will have been written in a previous bar. So C, G7, C. That's going to happen on the second line, the fourth line, and the sixth line. Same place. In all of those lines, it's the second to last measure. So. One, two, three. Oh, I come from the band of
gonna try taking it just a little bit faster. So you go. A one, two, three. Oh, I come. Okay, we'll go over and do number seven, the Wabash Cannonball. I'm gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up with this one. So you got one, two, ready, and this. Okay, so we'll go over to pages 50 and 51 now. We'll do numbers 9 through 12, starting with number 9, America the Beautiful. This is a great old classic. The starting pattern is down, down, up, down, up, down, up, since we're in 4-4 four, four time. I'll just sing that pickup, oh, and we'll be in, so. Oh, Do kumbaya, same strumming pattern, just got the kumbaya. Okay, so here you go. Kumbaya. Okay, let's do it a little bit faster. So you got Kumbaya. Okay, we'll go over to number 11. Get along, little doggies. Down, down, up, down, up, since we're in three, four time. We're actually going to do this one with the capo. We'll practice a little bit with the capo. If you want to do it in the original key, you can practice with the videos that come with the books that are shown right in the front of the book. So you can find in those videos all the songs are timestamps so you know where where to go into the video to play that particular song. 
ride along with me. <laughs> Here we'll practice with the capo today. Get along little doggies, we're capoing at the fifth fret. I've positioned the capo a little bit further back than the normal four to five millimeter recommendation and that's just because with F, my finger likes to shoot over and gives it a little bit more room, kind of like with B7. Sometimes that one takes a little bit more room too, so I've positioned that more room there. We're going to have that as I was up. So it'll just be in like that. Down, down, up, down, up. As I was a walking one more in pleasure, I spied a cow puncher riding along. His hat was thrown back and his spurs were a jingling. And as he approached, he was singing this song. Whoopie tie, yo, get along, little doggies. It's your Okay, we're going to go on now. We'll do Will the Circle Be Unbroken, number 12. Down, down, up, up, down, up. With no capo. Go back to no capo. We'll do it a little bit slower than that first, then we'll come back up and do it at the faster tempo. So, down, down, up, up, down, up. Will the circle. Take it a little bit faster. So down, down, up, up, down, up. Will the sun? tablature now. Okay, so in the tablature, page 26, we're going to do number 30. So with number 30, it's in 3-4 time. We've played this one before, so I'm just going to count it off. 1, 2, 3, and we'll be in. Don't forget though, this is the case for all the tablature. When the, the notes are in the first fret, we want to use our index finger. When the notes are in the second fret, we want to use our middle finger. When the notes are in the third fret, we want to use our ring finger. When the notes are in the fourth fret, we want to use our pinky. That's the same with the note reading as well. But here, the number one is going to match up with our index finger, which is number one, finger number one. The number two, and we see it written on the tablature, is going to match up with our middle finger, which is finger number two. When we see a three, it matches up with our ring finger, because our ring finger is finger number three. And when we do number four, it's going to match up with our pinky, because our pinky is number four. Okay, so here we go. A one, two, three. One. Okay, 
I'm going to flip over to page 28 and 29, pages 28 and 29. Do numbers 32, 33, and 34. So these ones have eighth notes throughout. We practiced some of that last time. This time we're just going to go ahead and read the melodies. Now with eighth notes coming in, you can choose maybe you want to start working on alternate picking if you're using a pick. It doesn't work very well with the thumb if you're using your thumb. Or you can continue to do all down plucking. That's okay too. But when we have rhythms that come in on the off beats or in between where the, the beats are of the measure, um, then it, you can start alternate picking if you want to. So it's just the same reminiscent of how we strum. We usually strum down on the beat and up on the off beat. So, shoe fly, don't bother me. One, two, ready, and. Okay, let's do this old man. One, two, ready, and. Okay, we'll go on to this old man. I will mention that if you want to play these at various tempos or go into greater detail, then you can check out the videos that come specifically with this book, which goes into greater detail. And I, in those videos, I play them at more than one speed, which is a little different than we do here in the Guitar 101 class that moves a little bit faster. So here you go on this old man. One, two, ready, and... Okay, we'll do number 34, Sweet Betsy from Pike. I'll give us three, one, two as our count in, and then we'll catch beat three there in the pickup. Three, one, two. Now, we're over to page 30 and 31. We're going to do numbers 35 through 38. So more practice with this. Hopefully these are starting to get easier and tablature is getting a little easier. And therefore, the technique is getting a little easier and we're really getting starting to get good at playing this guitar thing. So, Old MacDonald had a farm. One, two, ready, and...
go to the Mockingbird song. Now, if there's one of these, if you come across these that you don't know, it can be helpful to listen to me play it first, then back the video up, and then try and play it with me. So that you've got it in your ear first. It's important when we're using tablature, which is just sort of aiding our ear in learning how to intuitively play the guitar without actually reading notes or written music. And so these, this helps us out in that way. We use those numbers to help us know where to put our fingers and where to play, but we have to intuitively kind of know the song. So it helps if you don't know it, just listen to me and then back that video up and then play it with me. So we're going to do the Mockingbird song number 36. One, two, three, and go and... Okay, number 37, dulcimer. I'll give us one, two, three as our count in, and then we'll catch beat four. So, one, two, three. Okay, hey ho, nobody home. We'll catch the repeat. So we'll play it twice. One, two, three, and go and. Okay, we'll do a little bit with the note reading now. Okay, so into the note reading now. We're going to start on page 22 and review numbers 13 and 14. This one has three places where there's a tie across the bar. The bar line, I could say. So you want to watch for those. There's one on each line, so we're going to hold those notes. We're going to pluck it where the first one comes in and hold it as if the two were combined together. And then also there's some dotted half notes. So remember, those are with three counts. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, and... Okay, number 14. He's a jolly good fellow. We're in 3-4 time. I'll give us a 3-beat count in. 1, 2, 3... Two. 
two, three, off. Okay, over to page 23, we're going to review a little bit with these rests. So we're going to practice numbers four and five. So we'll do number four first. We'll just go ahead and play the B pitches. That's just written out as a rhythmic notation, really, but as a pitch on the B line. When everything's on the B line like that, instead of having a melody, that's usually what's meant. Just practice the rhythm. But we'll play a B pitch since we're good at that. We know what that note is. So we're going to play B. I'll say rest where the rests happen. Here you go. One, two, Ready? Just kidding. I do want to point out that when we have the rest, we want to make sure that our pitch isn't ringing over because that's not really a rest. We need the moment of silence. So use that left hand, mute those strings, or you could use the right hand, but we don't want it ringing through where the rest is. Here you go. One, two, ready, and... Rest four, rest two, rest two, three, four, rest two, rest four, one, rest three, rest. Okay, I'm going to play it this time again with you without saying anything. One, two, ready, and... Okay, let's do number five. So you got one, two, ready, and one, two, three, four, one, two, rest, four, one, rest, rest, four, rest, 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 two, rest. Okay, we'll do it again and I won't say anything. One, two, ready, and... Okay, usually we don't run into anything that tricky in our melodies, but we'll flip on over to page 24 and 25. We're going to read numbers 6 through 9, which will have rests in the melody. I mentioned this last time, but the rests oftentimes act like punctuation in the melody. So sort of like a period at the end of a sentence, that sort of thing, or a semicolon or a comma sort of helps us as we're reading sentences and sort of helps make things that are written make more sense. It's the same sort of thing in the music. They give us these pauses, these spaces that help us digest those melodic ideas. So we'll start with Little Liza Jane, number six. One, two, ready, and... Okay, Camp Town Races. So you got one, two, ready, and... Okay, page 25, number 8. When the saints go marching in, I'll give us 3, 4, 1 as our counting. 3, 4, 1. 3, 4, rest. 3, 
for rest. Three, four, rest, two. Okay, will the circle be unbroken? I'll give us three, four, one, two in the pickup. Then we'll come in on or on the count off. Then we'll come in with the pickup notes on beats three and four. Three, four, one, two. Rest two. Rest two. Two. Rest two. Rest two. Three, four, one, two, off. Okay, we'll go back to the chords now. Okay, so back to the chords. We're going to be in lesson nine. We're going to be reviewing A minor and D minor, really practicing a lot with A minor and D minor, in addition to reviewing the other chords that we know. We just briefly, I should say, I just briefly introduced A minor and D minor at the very end of the last lesson, and then we played that one together. So we're going to start on pages 52 and 53. We're going to do numbers one, three, and four. So we'll start with number one. Down and down, up, up, down. Up. If you need to review A minor, it's written there at the top of the page. This is easy. It's an easy switch going from C to A minor. So all you got to do is move your ring finger. So, just like that. One, two, ready, and C. Good kind of warm up there. We're we'll do number three now. Down and down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, up, three, up, four, up. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. Do number four, 900 miles. We've done this one last time. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Pushes my range a little bit on the bottom, but I think I think we'll be okay. All of them are just not quite where I might put it if I was to choose to do this song. It's the joys of the contra alto voice. So I'll, we'll just have the pickup. Just like so. 
Okay, let's flip on over to page 54 and 55. We're going to do number 7, 8, and 9. So starting with number 7, bingo. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 1, 2, up, 3, up, 4, up. So we're not going to take it too fast. There's some spots where we have two chords per bar. Take it a little bit slower on the bingo. We won't do it all the times to to sort of have the letters be silent, but it'd be kind of fun. So uh, one, two, three. Stranger, same strumming pattern. So we're gonna have I'm just a boy. We'll be in. Here you go. I'm just a Okay, we'll do number nine. Down, down, up, down, up. One, two, up, three, up. So three, four. There's a repeat. We'll do it twice. A uh, one, two, three. We'll flip on over to pages 56 and 57. 
we're going to do numbers 11 and 12. So starting with acres of clams. And we're going to go down, down, up, down, up. One, two, up, three, up. So, one, two, I want. Okay, we'll go over to page 57 and we'll do green sleeves. We'll practice a little bit with the capo on this one. So we're going to stick the capo up at the fifth fret. So we'll use it, the capo at the fifth fret. We'll practice this one with the capo. Great old English folk tune, green sleeves. This one's also in 3-4 time. We're going to continue to go down, down, up, down, up, one, two, up, three, up. So here you go. Alas, my love, you do me wrong to cast me off this courteous thing. When I have loved you so long, delighting in your company, green sleeves is my delight, green sleeves is all my joy, green sleeves is my lady love, who but my lady green sleeves. Okay, we'll flip the page over to page 58 and 59. We're going to do numbers 15, 16, 17, and 18. So, Drunken Sailor. Down, down, up, up, down, up. The woes of what happened. You got drunk as a sailor, at least when you're on duty, I guess. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? One, a two, a one, two, ready, and what shall we do with the drunk sailor? What shall we do with the drunk sailor? What shall we do with the drunk sailor? Lying Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey. We'll go around and do number 16, Battle of Jericho. Same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up. On the second to last measure, we're gonna have two chords in that bar. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go down, down on A minor, up, up, down on the B7. So that's how that'll go. Joshua. One, two, ready, and Joshua. Take it a little bit faster.
faster. I want to ready and Joshua fought the battle. Number 17, down, down, up, down, up, three, four times. A one, two, three, amen. Scarborough Fair, same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, down, up. Give us three beat count in. One, two, three. faster. A one, two, three. Yeah. Okay, so that wraps us up for this lesson. I hope you're having fun learning to play the guitar. This is pretty great. We've actually learned almost all of the basic chords in first position, which are usually the chords used in most songs. And so there is guaranteed got to be a lot of songs out there you might be interested in playing, ones that we can't cover here because they're not in public domain, but that you can learn on your own. You can do a Google search for them and look for lyrics and chords. Just put the title of your favorite song in, put lyrics and chords, and see if somebody's posted it online somewhere. And the chances are the chords that we've learned so far will work in a lot of those songs. Most of those songs, probably. And then as we keep going forward in the Guitar 101 series, we'll learn about bar chords and other types of chords. So you'll know how to handle other types of chords if they're not one of the ones that we've already done. The other thing is that almost all the songs that you're going to run into are going to be in 4-4 four, four time. And occasionally you'll have some in 3-4 time. 
so you've got strumming patterns that should work for those songs as well. So be looking for songs that you want to play. Now in the next lesson that we do, we're going to start learning about finger picking. So we're going to start learning how to do finger picking patterns with these chords, which is fun because a lot of songs work really well with finger plucking instead of strumming. So we're going to start learning that technique, start getting that technique under our fingers. We'll continue to work with the tablature with the more involved rhythms and still staying on the top three strings. And we're going to continue to read notes on the top three strings. We're going to review our note reading on the top three strings so we can get ready to move on and learn the next string. So it's going to be great. I'll see you then. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. For more in-depth lessons and to progress through a free guitar course, check out my Guitar 101 series on YouTube and my Guitar Method books, which all come with access to hours of in-depth video lessons. You can find more information about me and my products at kristenbromley.com. Take care.